Hey, I am trying an experiment uh, with my beer tonight. So, the one I am going to be opening up is the American Solera Foderville. Um, now, there's a lot of interesting stuff to say about this beer, and there's a lot of interesting things I'm trying with it tonight. So, uh, this is a Fodor aged IPA, and in parentheses it says Sour India Pale Ale Aged in Oak Tanks, 6.2% uh, ABV. There's so much going on here, okay? So, just talking about the the can itself. It's its actually kind of a sleeper, but the more I look at it, it's actually quite an interesting little design. It's got an interesting color combination, geometric patterns. Uh, there's little details, right? There's actually a white swan or duck or something swimming around in this lake. Uh, it's actually just a little green square of grass, it looks like, with a small lake. And then there's a little white uh, duck or something swimming around in it. There's trees and the kind of little touches you don't notice when you first uh, pick it up. And I didn't get it because of the can, I got it because I was looking for it actively, uh, or it was either I was looking for it or it was marketed to me really well by my local craft uh, shop, which is Witchcraft in Austin, Texas, always putting in a good word for them, not sponsored or anything, just want them to stay in business. They're in the Mueller area, development area. Um, and so anyway, now what's interesting here is that first of all, uh, this brewery, I think, is... It's like an offshoot of Prairie Artisan Ales. I believe I am correct about that. Um, I was starting to research it. There, there are Prairie Artisan Ales, uh, uh, kind of a big name in craft breweries in the United States. I don't know if it's on the you at the national level, but at least in the South, it's noteworthy. They're from Oklahoma, and I have enjoyed some of their beers tremendously. Some of their beers I've really not been super keen on, uh, would never get again, didn't hate them. Uh, for example, their Key Lime... Sour, uh, I didn't do it for me uh, at all, although I did finish them. And then what? they've got some stouts, they've got some sours, very creative. I've, I've got mixed feelings about them. I love what their design language, they're very goofy looking, they've got a lot of attitude, and um, the fact that they focus on sour, interesting sours and stouts is commendable because, I don't know, I'm, I like those kind of beverages and I'm getting into the, some of the more adventurous ones. Uh, and also, they, I don't know, I just like them. I just get a good vibe from Prairie Brewing Company. So American Solera, I believe, is their, their offshoot brewing, uh, where they, you know, I'm trying to read this off the side, but it, Solera means the system for aging certain types of wine, uh, like sherry, fortified wines, where uh, apparently different, um, different rows of casks age to different ages, and then I guess blended to provide a certain consistent flavor over time, even across the generations of those aged casks. And now instead of doing that with wine and sherry, they're doing that with beer, and that is their uh, specialization at American Solera, specialize in oak barrel aging. So I love oak aged drinks almost always, IP, whether they're IPAs, sours, farmhouse ales, or uh, stouts, whatever have you, I tend to just like things that are aged in oak. So, um, and same with, you know, whiskey, bourbon, it's just good. It just tastes good to me. <clears throat> anyway, so this beer, I'm about to open it up. It's just not long out of the fridge. You can still see the condensation coming off of it, and um, it's getting towards evening. Now, what else did I want to say? Uh, Sour India Pale Ale, strange already, aged in oak, even stranger. Then, if you look it up on Beer Advocate, which, you know, I love beeradvocate.com, uh, this is listed as a wild ale, and then described by some people as, like, a sour saison or something, it's just kind of crazy. What, what do I have going on? Now, why did I pick this right now? It was a tough choice. It's because I'm making some pasta, or I should say heating some pasta from uh, a local restaurant in my oven. It is supposedly really tough to pair pasta with beer. I have not tried that more than tonight. I don't think this is my first time trying it. Instead of wine, trying beer. So this seems to me like it's got some elements of a wine like beverage. It's got the aging, uh, it's got the sour, well not that wines are sour, but um, that makes it sort of unlike a typical ale. Uh, I was putting up for contention as the other beer tonight for this was I think the Samuel Smith Winter Welcome, if I have that right, and uh, I want to try that out, but I just, it's such an unknown quantity that I don't really know what it's going to work or not work with. And uh, This seems like it's going to have certain characteristics similar to a wine. So I'll be right back in a second. I'm going to go grab that food, and uh, we'll try this beer out. And I know this is far from uh, gourmet cooking, but 
That is my pasta that's been going with this beer. It's got beef sausage, a bunch of kinds of cheeses, and uh, it smells incredibly good. So we'll be getting it onto a plate and trying it out. Okay, finally sitting down to try opening up this uh, American Solera uh, Foderville and see what we got. Ooh, that's a loud, uh-oh, oh, not this again. Anyone who's seen one of my recent Jester King reviews will know what I'm referring to. Very, 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 very carbonated. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like so hungry right now. Hmm. Hmm. Sour, oak. Uh, a lot of the prairie ales I've had are not nearly this carbonated. That's a pleasant surprise. Maybe I've gotten old cans or something that always sort of bothered me. Then again, they have tended to, tended to settle down and be sort of, I'm not going to say flat, but on the verge of being flat, kind of to my displeasure. Uh, so, it smells like an oak-aged sour to me. Maybe some IPA, yeah, hoppy smells. The pasta is getting in my way, too. And this, I smell it as well. Mmm, it's good. i got to taste it. Mmm. Sour, tart, woody. Not super much of an IPA taste, although I can see that it is the base. Knowing that it's the base, I can understand that, that that's there. Mmm. Super refreshing. Nice blend of sour and bitter. Not a particularly fruited, fruit-dominant taste. Just kind of a sour, bitter, woody taste. Uh, it's mostly sour. That's by far the predominant. Uh, I think you know, my girlfriend might like this. She really liked a certain sour ale aged in tequila barrels that was much more expensive from Avery. Tequila service, uh, limited, you know, edition thing. But this is almost everything that was. Maybe a little thinner on the palate, uh, a little less special feeling, and lacking that tequila taste. But, I mean, it's like that, uh, that beer was like five times more per, you know, expensive. Let me taste this pasta. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So, immediately tasted so good versus the sour, uh, sort of bitter IPA taste. Well, I was on the verge of saying that's a great combo. I don't know if I can go great. That's a pretty good combo. There's some clash right as you sip this, right after the, the, the bite. Not entirely successful. By the second drink, it's delicious and refreshing. And going to the red meat pasta, the beef, uh, baked, cheesy, beef, sausage, rich pasta, going from that sour IPA to that pasta, delicious. Uh, the only, and the beer delicious, the food delicious on their own. The only problem is when you rinse your mouth <laughs> after a bite, with this sour IPA, you can taste a clash on that first taste. It doesn't feel very sophisticated. Feels like there's a mismatch there. By the second sip, it's gone. Very forgivable. Uh, as a as an, uh, person eating by myself and drinking this beer by myself and not having to impress anybody with the sophistication of this pairing, honestly, it's pretty enjoyable. Feels kind of rustic and um, very tasty. So this is the American Solera Brewery, uh, their Foderville. Again, a, a sour India Pale Ale. Words that I always love to hear because I love sours and I love IPAs. 6.2% ABV, aged in oak tanks, and I guess blended, potentially blended to stay consistent since that is what Foderville means. That's according to the brewery itself. Uh, last words, um, I'm looking for an aged bottled canned on. Well, I might not find one. It might not matter too much either. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter that much for this type of beer. It's, it feels clean. Fresh, good, highly rec would recommend drinking this if anything I've said about this sounds up your alley. It definitely delivers good beer. So I'll see you in the next uh, review. Got a ton of stuff left in my fridge. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Please leave a comment. Please like. I mean, you hear this every video you watch, but man, I mean it because I'm starting this stuff off. Haven't heard a whole lot of uh, noise from anybody else other than just talking to myself. I don't mind. It's fun for me. But if you're watching this and you like this kind of content, please, please drop something. Give me a subscribe, a like, uh, something that lets me know you're there. Um, and yeah, just would mean a lot to me. Okay, have a good night, and uh, I'll see you in the next review.